Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we are given the solution, the general solution to a second order linear homogeneous differential equation. And we're asked to find that differential equation. Now we're going to do everything backwards and that helps us understand how the whole process works. So first of all, we're going to take a look at this and rewrite it just slightly. We're going to rewrite it like this. Y is a function of time is equal to C1 e to the 0 t plus c2 e to the minus 5 t. Now this helps us figure out that there's actually two real roots. One root is equal to 0 and the other root is equal to minus 5. So that tells us therefore that root 1 is equal to 0 and that root 2 is equal to minus 5. So now we're going to try to find the what we call characteristic equation. So we're working backwards because eventually from the characteristic equation we'll find the differential equation. So if r1 is equal to 0 we can then say that the equation looks as follows. That means that r times r minus 5 or plus 5 is equal to 0. So what I've done is work backwards. If the roots are 0 and negative 5, then I have r plus 5 times r plus 0 equals 0. Because that gives us the two roots, r equals 0 and r equals negative 5. Then when I multiply this out, I end up with r squared plus 5r is equal to 0. Notice that the constant term is missing, and now we can take this and turn it into the differential equation. So this becomes the y double prime term with no coefficient plus 5 times y prime plus 0 times y equal 0. And therefore this is the differential equation that results in this general solution. So it's actually kind of neat that we can go both directions. We can start with the solution and find the differential equation. We can take the differential equation, turn it into a characteristic equation, solve for the roots, and turn into general solution. And that's how that works.